again, like usual, the ideas and opinions that I express here are my own. They're not a reflection of my friends or family or even any of these plumbings, if you know what I mean. Because the video is free, but someone has to put in the wiring or the distribution of it. But if any of you follow me or remotely, like maybe constantly watch my content, you will know that's one of my underlying themes of my content is loyalty. At least about four years ago, I was doing content about loyalty and I used the analogy of the American History X because that guy was loyal to the cause. But then he found out the cause wasn't loyal to him and the cause was um, just a big, total, screwed up kind of cult thing. So, yeah, watch America History X and maybe you'll take away the same idea of being careful who you're loyal to. Just like when it comes to friends and family. I was married twice unfortunately watch my other videos about that one but the one that was supposed to be loyal to me I was supposed to be loyal to them they ended up listening to everyone else except the one that matters and I was the one that mattered but my opinion and my ideas of how to have a relationship or have a family or whatever is the whatever is the the goals and objective of the relationship really if you're married you listen to your spouse you don't listen to well okay <clears throat> there's some qualifiers but the idea is how do you make the connections of who do you listen to because obviously like celebrities they get paid huge money and most of the time they're going to tell you they're going to tell you whatever you want to hear like politicians it's hard to find the politician that is going to be expressing an opinion that they believe in an opinion that they really are behind but like if you're being supported by even like in your relationship, if you're supported by your your uh, spouse, you gotta listen to what your spouse has to say. You can't just be um, going off on a tangent. You know, like there's one okay. There's one thing about like the the scripture teaches, like you leave and you cleave. You leave your mother and father their support you leave them and then you cleave to your spouse you go with your spouse so your mother and father can't really speak into your relationship anymore because or I'm sorry speak into your life they might have opinion about your relationship that's why it's important to get with somebody that loves your family at least they might not like your friends but they have to love your family. So, it's about who are you loyal to. You have to be loyal. Like, if you have a contract with your spouse, you got to be loyal to them. That's it. You can't listen to the opinion. <clears throat> well, let me qualify. You shouldn't listen to the opinions of your mom or dad, brother, sister, anymore. You can't. Once you sign that contract, that's it. You have to be committed and loyal to that person. No matter what. I mean, when things suck, you still got to be loyal. When things are confusing, you have to be considerate and consider what each other says. So, <clears throat> with all that, these days, people don't want to be loyal to Jesus because... <laughs> 
I, I can't even really even wrap my mind around why you wouldn't be loyal to Jesus. Because all he wanted, wants is the best for you. Everything he asks of you is so reasonable. At least if you're alive in Christ and living a Christian life. Just like in Romans, the first chapter says, Christ, or not even being ashamed. Don't be ashamed of the gospel, for it's the power of God for salvation. The good news that Christ came and lived in your place. <clears throat> the good news, like in uh, 1 John 5, read that. It's not that we love God. It's not because we love Christ. It's not because we love the Holy Spirit is because they loved us first. Our love for them is in response to their love for us. So when you think about the loyalty and who you're loyal to, how many people do you think of that loved you before you loved them? I mean, maybe in some wacky relationship thing, like um, I say wacky because, yeah, like maybe I'll have a crush on a girl and they don't know, but that's crush. That's a whole different level of love. I'm gonna try to get into the whole love thing in February because it's Valentine's month. You know, Valentine's Day is February 14th, the middle of the month. But loyalty, who are you loyal to? Do people deserve your loyalty? Did they earn your loyalty? Like if it's a cause, like American History X, those skinheads had a cause. That, like, I guess you could unite, but you can't. Yeah, you can't be loyal to that cause because you're going to end up getting uh, um, something bad is going to happen to you. You know, just like when it comes to political party, when it comes to uh, whatever kind of a club you're part of. Being loyal to stuff like that, the temporary things in life, being loyal to that is so, I think, bad, you know, because um, the loyalty that you have is, is very special. If you're loyal to eternity, because like uh, one of my favorite radio shows says, um, eternity is too long to be wrong. Being loyal to God is so much more worth it. Listening to what He tells you to do, especially if you're born again, you're just going to automatically do what He requires of you. Because He is the one that has demonstrated His love for us that while we were yet sinners, He still died for us. So... I mean, we were on a path to hell because we're zombies, just going with the flow. Because when you're dead, you can't resist. But when you're alive in Christ, you will resist by His grace, by His mercy, by His regeneration. Again, who are you loyal to? Because these days it's like, you're going to listen to a celebrity tell you how to run your life. You're going to listen to a celebrity to tell you who to vote for. Meanwhile, they're not affected by what we are affected by. I mean, a billionaire could pay $10 a gallon for gas. Chances are they have a fleet of cars and it doesn't even phase them. You know, but if you're an average person, if you end up paying $10 a gallon for gas, it's going to kind of suck especially if you have a family you have to like especially if you're loyal to those relationships that are like for, through thick and thin those those situations like you have to do good you have to be loyal to those things that matter to you so when you're loyal to a political party or if you're loyal to some club and, and I'm not talking about like loyalty to a church because even the church is ran by a lot of fallible people, a lot of people that have 
maybe misunderstandings and misguidings and all that stuff. But you, uh, if you're loyal to the leader of the church, which is Christ, you will not go wrong because he set forth his rule. He's the one ruling over you. He's the one that's going to spank you when you mess up. If you make bad choices, he's the one that's going to chasten you. He's the one that's going to discipline you. And it's not out of any... Uh, like maliciousness it's about the loyalty if you're loyal to him he wants you to remain loyal he wants you to be loyal all the time so one of my underlying themes of this channel is loyalty who are you loyal to you have to be loyal to the good the ones that you know are good can't you can't take risks these days to be loyal to the wrong thing because that's going to not end very well. So remember to read your word. Read uh, Romans uh, chapter 1. Look at uh, 1 John 5. And also look at, well, look at all the scripture today. And look at it and tell me, is it worth being loyal to Christ? 